Retired American professional tennis player Andy Roddick turned pro in 2000 and is a former world number one. During his career, Andy won 32 titles and retired from the sport in 2012. Along with the titles, Andy earned enough to live a lavish life, and today, we'll be talking about it. Hey guys, welcome to Luxury Plus. If you like to get updated with all the luxury lifestyle and how the rich make and spend their money, please subscribe to the channel. Also, why should you be behind everyone? So press the bell icon to never miss an update after every upload. So without any further ado, let's get started. Early Life and Career Roddick attended SEK Boca Prep International School where he graduated in 2000. He played basketball in high school. During that time, he began training with Venus and Serena Williams. Roddick started in 2007 with a string of injuries. At Wimbledon, he was seated third and reached the quarterfinals before losing to Richard Gasquet of France. In 2008, Roddick was forced to pull out of the 2008 French Open due to an injury. He chose not to join the 2008 Summer Olympics. He captured his 28th ATP title in Beijing at the China Open and lost to Andy Murray. In 2012, he started his London Olympics with a victory over Martin Klizan. Roddick lost to the number two player in the world at the time, Novak Djokovic. After the Olympics, he decided not to play in Toronto and went straight to the Cincinnati tournament. As of 2021, Andy Roddick's net worth is estimated to be roughly $40 million. Roddick Sponsors Andy had a lucrative contract with a racket company, Babala Pure Driveline. However, the sponsor's money is not disclosed. The deal can be in the millions. Despite wearing Reebok apparel in the early part of his career, he had a lucrative deal with Lacoste in 2005 for five years worth $25 million. After signing a contract with Lacoste, he agreed to wear the Lacoste sunglasses for an additional $1 million. Moreover, he has a huge deal with Lexus. Likewise, he had done other endorsement deals in his career, including American Express, Rolex, Microsoft, Arizona Beverage Company, Powerade, and many more. Roderick's investment strategy started at a young age and is now paying off. In addition, he runs an investment company, Angel Investor. Meanwhile, he's invested in golf apparel brand, Travis Matthew Apparel, and is also its ambassador. Likewise, he's invested in the real estate business and has made the bulk of its money. In 2001, he paid around $310,000 for a house in Florida and later sold it for $350,000 in 2012. Andy Roddick likes to spend money on real estate and fancy cars. He has an impressive collection of lavish cars and will be having a look at them. Roddick's North Carolina Home If you were wondering whether or not rustic decor could feel chic and modern, just take a look inside Brooklyn Decker and Andy Roddick's North Carolina Home. The power couple recently opened their doors to Architectural Digest, and we're so happy they did. The interior is a lesson in how to perfectly marry story-filled antique treasures with a modern sensibility. While the actress slash entrepreneur and former tennis player spend most of their time in their family home located in Austin, Texas, it's their North Carolina property that really makes a case for the modern, rustic design style. Thanks to Decker's own flair for interior design, the home is filled with unique, one-of-a-kind pieces that even Roddick can get behind. My taste has definitely changed by virtue of her being right often. Now I'm into these rustic antique pieces that she finds, he tells AD. The seven-bedroom abode has a way of feeling cozy and warm, despite its impressive size. The home is situated on four acres of land, in case you were wondering. Although, that's no surprise considering its location and Decker's eye for the quirky. In the town of Cashier, North Carolina, not far from where Decker was raised, their neighborhood is no tourist trap. It's a really tiny town with families from cities like Boston, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Decker explains to AD. There's an interesting culture too, like ex-big city kids, she continues. From the moment you step inside the home, you're greeted with a stunning reclaimed wood A-frame ceiling and enough quaint details to keep you occupied for hours. Just note the built-in library lofted above the front way entry that surrounds a large window, the glamorous circular chandelier that hangs above the sitting room, and the rustic ladder that leans against the wall leading up to the loft, for instance. The home boasts a design similar to that of a barn, something accented by the rustic wooden details throughout the home, many of which were made of reclaimed wood from the town itself. This was important to Decker, who wanted the structure to fit its surroundings, AD explains. The final look certainly feels appropriate for the home's location. It's practically one with its natural surroundings. We are trying to bring in the open sky and the green mountains in the best way I know how, Decker shares. The view from this room out to the mountain is really beautiful. 
The fog rolls in every day and it looks the same. The actress continues. Aside from the build, Decker was highly involved in the smaller details of the design process. She calls out first dibs and other local antique outposts as the sources for much of the Decker found in the house, all of which fall into a color scheme of natural browns and complementary blues and greens. I like darker, more colorful colors, Decker says. A combination of white walls, leather chairs, and reclaimed wood beams create a distinctly natural feel in the rustic mountain home as shown above. You'll note that this dining area has ample seating, likely because Decker and Roddick both had entertaining guests in mind when designing the space. In fact, they hosted their first Christmas in the home last year. Nothing is precious. Come, relax on the furniture, have a glass of wine, stay forever. That's the space we wanted to create, Decker says. The Farmhouse The tennis superstar and his model actress wife lived in the home with their two-year-old son, Hank, and his eight-month-old daughter, Stevie. They renovated the space to give it a cozy farmhouse vibe with luxurious details. Inside, you'll find rustic features like pinewood floors and wood beam ceilings paired with rich contemporary accents. The gorgeous Eden kitchen includes a large island and stone fireplace, along with the industrial-style open shelving and cool blue cabinets. Decker told people last year that she splurged on the marble countertops and brass sink. And when they're ready for a new bottle of vino, they can just grab one from the newly built wine cellar. The home has plenty of space to hang with friends and family, including the large living room which features a vaulted ceiling and French doors leading to the backyard. You can also get a great view of the outdoors from the master bedroom, which has a wall of windows and doors that look out into the pool and trees. But the master bedroom may have the best seat in the house, a copper soaking tub situated by floor to ceiling windows, giving way to a gorgeous view of the secluded acreage. Cars Andy seems very fond of cars and owns the fleet of cars in his collection. He owns a Bentley Continental GT that costs around $202,500. This powerful beast has a W12 engine that can accelerate 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. Further, this car boasts a luxurious cabin and the interior is swathed in aromatic leather and fine wood veneers. Similarly, he owns a Porsche Cayenne that costs around $67,500, a Mercedes ML Class which costs around $63,000, a Lexus SC430 that costs around $19,000 to $43,000. Watches He wears an elegant gold Rolex Daytona watch that costs around $51,000. Rolex beautifully designs the watch as it's made using 18 karat gold. Apart from the watch's face, which is black, each part of the watch is dipped in gold. Further, the watch has hour, minute, and second hand, along with three subdials on the face embossed in two concentric golden circles. Though the watch doesn't have a date view, it still holds the classy finish. Above all, the best thing about the watch is it's suitable for both formal and casual occasions. Charity he runs the Andy Roddick Foundation to ensure the youth in low-income communities have enough opportunities to reach their full potential. Further, this foundation helps parents feel more involved in their children's learning. Likewise, they provide administrators, teachers, and families free virtual versions of award-winning programs. Nonetheless, he supports six foundations and charities like Brian Bros Foundation, Elton John's AIDS Foundation, City Harvest, and Willow Foundation. Lastly, Andy supports more than eight causes like abuse, HIV, disadvantaged youths, cancer, children, health, hunger, and sports. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Let us know how you like Andy Roddick's lifestyle in the comments below. Till then, hope to see you in another video.